Good morning, love train. OMG, it is another exciting day off. Yay! Jamie just texted me, and apparently there are some thrift shops on Miami Avenue. I had no idea. I'll be excited to join her in doing that. Sarah's mom is supposed to fly out today, but she might be changing her flight. So we might be hanging out with them a little later on today too. So I'm excited. Yay. Like every day off lately has been like a celebration for me. Like it's been so cool. Like I wake up every time I have a day off, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, how can we celebrate today? What fun things can we do? <laughs> you know? So I'm just really excited to have some time off and spend it with my friends. All right, guys, I am out and about. Jamie is right next to Island Organics in some thrift shop that I didn't even know about. Some mysterious thrift store. So I'm walking, it's really gloomy and it's actually misting on me right now. So I decided to try out the blue flannel. I've been dying to find a reason to like wear this thing outside of the house lately, but today it's chilly. And I just freaking love the shade of blue. And I like love the flannel like pattern and I love that it's like oversized and stuff. So I think it looks cute. I hope it looks cute. <laughs> we'll see. What are they doing at the park? They're making all kinds of racket. Oh my God, most traumatic thing ever just happened to me. <sighs> I was walking through the park and I saw this cute little squirrel. He was like running around like right in front of me and I wanted to stop and vlog the squirrel and I don't know if I, see now I feel guilty. I feel guilty about this. What a nightmare. I think he might have been like scared by me. I don't know. Like I wasn't trying to scare him. I was just trying to like take his picture. And he ran out into the street, hesitated, and then got hit by a minivan. Like run over. I, and I saw this and I think I actually got it on camera, which is the fucked up part because I hit the record button like right as it happened. I am so traumatized right now. It happened like, like see how far away from this trash can I am? Like that's where the squirrel was, like right there. I am traumatized. I found Jamie. <laughs> Oh my God, I just went through the most traumatic experience ever. I killed a squirrel. You did, on your bike? No, I was With walking your hands? here. With your I, hands? No, I was walking here and I stopped in the park to take a picture of this cute little squirrel and I think I scared him into the street where he then got hit by a minivan right in front of my face. Like right there where that cigarette thing is. <laughs> I'm traumatized. <laughs> I feel like it was my fault. So we decided to come have lunch at Island Organics. I'm gonna be glad to get some food in my system. I am still, I cannot believe that. I am so upset right now about that. I'm laughing, but like, I'm upset about it. I wonder if I got that shit on camera. I probably did. Probably did. Fox. There's a fox <laughs> under our table. We just found a fox in the woods. <laughs> decided to keep them for a little <laughs> All right. Well, that was a fun little outing. Now I'm walking back home again. I just passed by the place again where the squirrel got run over and I felt sad. But the city already cleared away the body, so that's good. I didn't have to see that again. <sighs> But anyways, I guess that's just life. 
you know it was an accident so I'm walking home now and it's just such a gray gloomy day which is fine I actually like when it's like gray out and like gloomy and you know stuff like that in Florida I really actually like it because it's such a change from the usual you know sunshine every day you know <laughs> not that I don't love sunshine I do but I just I just like it when the weather changes up every now and then, you know? So I think it's just gonna be a good day to just like stay inside and, you know, edit my YouTube video, watch some YouTube myself, and just stay cozy, you know? So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'll walk through this park today. Apparently this park has like examples of all of Florida's different palm trees. I didn't know that. That's why you see like the little, the little placards up everywhere. It's like telling you about them. Cool. Whenever I walk by these little things over here, they always remind me of the Momrass from Alice in Wonderland. Does anybody else see it? Well, alrighty guys, a few hours have passed. It's still kind of dreary out today, wow and it's getting darker, but I do want to walk to Publix so that I can go and pick up something for dinner. I've been doing a lot of eating out lately, and that's fine, but it's expensive. <laughs> so I need some stuff at the house. Something for dinner, and then I'm going out for girls' night tonight, so just in case I have a little much to drink, which I probably will not because I'm gonna be very careful this time so I don't get myself sick like last time but I would like to have like some crackers or something like snacky like that at the house so that if I get myself in a bad situation I can you know I can have something to eat to make myself feel better so yeah walking to Publix it's already kind of dark outside and I do realize that since it's kind of dark right now <laughs> I'll probably be walking home in the darkness, which is going to suck, but oh well. Oh my god, I just ran into the guy that I have like the biggest crush on right now in the parking lot. <laughs> I feel embarrassed and shy and silly. Oh my god, that just happened. Well, all right. Oh, I'm almost thinking about ready to get run over. Um, I'm done at Publix and I got my kombucha and my dinner and some snacks and like I'm still <laughs> thinking about the fact that I ran into that guy in the parking lot that is so funny to me. Like and it's funny because I was just thinking about him too because I daydream a lot. I'm a creative brain so you know I daydream all the time 
and that's just like where my mind goes and then like there's nothing like thinking about somebody and then like seeing them like right there in front of you it's so weird but anyways that was fun that made my night that was cool <laughs> and now I'm gonna go back home eat some stuff and get ready for the girls night out well all right guys it's time to go out for girls night everybody is at the martini bar right now so that's where I am headed to just meet up with them and I am excited I got a neat little outfit on so I'm stoked about it and I can't wait to see my friends all right here I am I got the VIP parking once again and uh, it is time for girls night Woo! excited feeling good I had two glasses of wine and I had a bottle of water and some snacks once I got home so I do not believe that I overdid it tonight I should be feeling fine and healthy in the morning so I am glad about that Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you all had a wonderful day. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're brand new. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash littlehipster. I can also be found on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram as well. So just come follow me. Thank you guys very much. Have a wonderful night. And don't forget to eat your fruits and vegetables. Bye-bye. Oh, y'all. I have made a mistake. I drank a little too much wine last night when Cindy and I were out at karaoke and I feel terrible. And oh my gosh, I've already been through like a whole morning of misery. But I remember last time I felt really, really bad and really hungover. I went to Island Organics and I got a juice and it made me feel like so much better. So I finally got the energy 